Welcome to another live coding session. So in this lecture, mini short coding session video, we're going to cover an example that uses string streams uh, in C++. And so we have this string stream library, SS, so S stream, and we have to include that. We're going to convert a string, and then we're going to place the elements that we convert into a vector, and then do some interaction to show that those are actually converted strings now. And so the first thing we want to do is set up some variables. So we need that string stream uh, variable type, and then we set up a variable for that stream. So this is going to interact similar to C in and C out, as well as our input and output file buffers. And so we're going to use that same insertion and extraction operators combos to acquire values from the stream or send things to the stream. And so we want to first acquire a single stream, a single string from the user. So acquire a single string from the user, a bunch of numbers separated by spaces. So uh, C out, enter numbers separated by spaces, and then it's going to be on its own line and then input value. So we're going to use that string to input our values. And so that is how we will go about getting our collection of numbers. And so after that, we want to go about sending that string into the stream. So for conversion, that string has to go into the stream. And so send into, send the string, the stream for conversion. And so we want to do that. We want to simply put the stream, point the arrows in the direction of the data. We want to send it to the stream and we want to send the input value, the string into the stream. After that, oh, we don't actually want, this doesn't give us a whole line. Oh, that's a mistake. We want to use get line, right? We're getting a whole line, not just a single value. All right, so just like input and uh, uh, C out, C in, and our file streams, we send that input value to our string stream, and then we want to acquire values out. So extract values back out of the string stream. And so we acquire those values back out, extract integers one by one from the stream, and so we're going to use a while loop to do that. And we're going to use our operator to go straight into an integer variable. And then once we have that integer variable, we can push that back onto our vector. And so as we go through, just like with file reading, we have the stream and then we send the value from the stream to the variable and it will skip all white space. That's what this operator does. It will skip white space. And then we can go about having a uh, integer in X that we push on to our vector. And so we're gonna repeat what we output or what they input rather. So repeat user input value so that they can see it right above what we're doing. So we're gonna see the output. So you entered input values, value, and then I'll put the double, double, I'll put the doubling of each integer is what we're going to do to demonstrate that these are not strings anymore. And so we're going to say doubled up and we're going to use a for loop and that's going to go up to values.size by one, and we're going to simply output the element times two with a space after it, single space, and then follow that with an end line. So we should see their input, and then right below it, the doubled up values. And then we have our return there at the end of our file. We're going to compile, make sure it compiles, it did, good job, and then we're going to execute our code over here on the right. We enter numbers by spaces, separated by spaces. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 15, 
25 and 45. Hit enter. Uh, our entered numbers doubled up. So we entered uh, that. We want a new line there. So it looks, looks the same uh, in line. Okay. Let's compile and execute again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 15, 25, 35, 45. Okay, so we can clearly see that they entered, we entered 10, 20, so on and so forth, and we see the double up just right below it matching up so we can easily double check our work. So this has been an example of using string streams to convert a series of numbers that have been separated by spaces and using that string stream to convert it from a string into an integer so that we can use string streams for several different conversions. This is one such conversion, a very good and useful tool to keep in your toolkit. Have a great day.